live on Instagram. We're live right, on so both. Sure. Get us rolling. All right, guys. So I'm going to give you a little disclaimer today because it's another freaking gorgeous day here in South Florida. My backyard neighbors who have a pool also and about, I don't know, 17 kids, um, they are going ham over there. So <laughs> you're going to hear some screaming, some splashing. It's not us. We're here. We're focused on you. We've got a core 30-minute workout today. So we're going to do this for about 20 minutes. Realty's going to lead you through the hard stuff because I am the um, not-so-intense one of the, of the duo anymore. <laughs> Things have changed in the last few years. Um, I'll be doing the stretch, he'll be doing the core. We're gonna have an amazing time. Let's do this thing, my friends. We're gonna go ahead and get our clock started, and then we're gonna jump right in here. Let's see what we got. Christina is going to warm y'all up. So right, stick with her for about 120 seconds. Just reach up. Oh, let's look go for up it. And come down. Reach up, look up. So why are we doing this movement? I want you to think about your shoulders and your hips. So hips way forward, open up the shoulders and then let it go. Let's do three more. Three. Press your weight into your heels. Two. And one, come back to center. Let's just do some rotation. All right, so I want to get your midsection nice and warm. Now your core is not just your abs, right? We all want that awesome six pack. But in reality, what we want is a strong back, strong sides, and strong front. So that it carries you through your day all day. No pain in your back like so many people have. We have four, three. We're gonna take my elbow to my thigh. So let's come down, side, side. Cool, so that's pretty easy. We'll do 10 more. Because some of you might have been napping. Maybe you were sitting on the couch and you thought, actually, Malcolm likes to nap. So maybe Malcolm just woke up and he's like, yo, I need some warm up. Here you go. Now reach down to your ankles. Down. Four. Three. We've only got 30 more seconds of warm up. Don't worry, not too much. Now I want you to stay to the right. Reach one hand towards your shoes, one hand towards the sky. Down and up. Go 10. Reach. Abs are nice and strong. We'll do about seven more. Without the beat, it's hard for us to stay together, right? There's no music to keep us coordinated. How about three more, two more, one more? This is it, my friends. All right, something to watch for. I just colored my hair. So you may see blue streaking down my face. <laughs> that should make for some entertaining video. Four, three, it's time for me to turn you over. Boom. All righty, everybody. So you know if we're gonna work some core, we're gonna hit some planks today. So we're gonna go ahead and start with some planks, and then we'll move into some other stuff. We'll stretch that body out. We'll hit some more. We'll lay down on our backs, finish up those abs. That's your plan, right? So we're gonna start just like we started the warm up, reaching up overhead, reach for the floor, walk it all the way out, out into that high plank, and then simply gonna walk it back into your low squats. Ooh, right here, and then walk it right back out into that plank. Hey, Rildy, is your mat a thousand degrees? Yeah, it's pretty hot. <laughs> If you're inside in the AC, your mat might be a little bit nicer. Your floor Woo! might be nicer. But this mat is on fire. What? You're going to keep going right here. We are about halfway through this. Just going ahead and getting that upper body just as warm as the core and the legs might feel after that warm up. We got to get those shoulders, hands, wrists all fired up as well. In about 15 seconds, we're all going to meet out at the end of that high plank and we're going to stay right there and squeeze it tight. I'll walk you through it. We got three, two, and on this next one, we're gonna go ahead and hold that high plank, my friends. So stay right with it. And all we're gonna do is take the right hand, open it to the sky, and then switch. Through this entire movement, you wanna keep the abs engaged, core nice and tight, and then you don't wanna be throwing the hips around too loose. You wanna keep everything nice and tight as you pivot onto the sides of the feet, and switch pivot onto the other side, yes? So why am I on my knees? Because it's a modification. If your shoulders or your wrists or your back or some part of you can't take the whole plank, you always can drop your knees down, all right? So that's why I'm doing this. Absolutely. And you got just about 15 more seconds here until we're gonna make it a little bit tougher before this plank is over. What? And then we get to drop it down to the floor what? and your hands are gonna have a little bit of a break. What? what? Break. <laughs> you got another four. Let's do right here. Four more. Three more. Two more. And hold that plank. Last one. Stay strong. Now we're going to take one foot up, one knee, up to the elbow and shoot it back. Other side. And come back. As you drive that knee forward, you want to go ahead and gently pull your body forward as if someone in front of you has some little string tied to your head and is pulling it forward. 
gently leaning up into that reach. You can always drop it onto the elbows. You can take a break on the knees if you need it, but you've only got about six more, five more. We're dropping onto our stomachs. In three, are you making that contact? You got two more chances. The last one, and go ahead and drop your body down to the floor. Let's adjust that towel a touch. Ooh, and right here, all we're gonna do is opposite hand, opposite foot, lift and lower. Switch and lower. Ooh. So can I just share one of my pet peeves? Go for it. This is one of my pet peeves. I learned this years ago from Jeff Bagshaw, who also works with me over at Equinox. Um, we can't come down to our stomach. Our stomach is an internal organ. Oh my goodness. So we're not on our stomach. I Maybe should have said on no. Our abs. <laughs> we're laying flat on the floor, chest down. But we are not, my friends, on our stomach. Or I could say, let's lay on our lungs. Well, right? she's spoken long enough, because this has got to get a little bit harder. <laughs> so we're going to take it from alternating. We're going to lift everything up, press that stomach deep down into oh the floor. Oh, my God, it's not And the then we're going to swim. <laughs> yes, that stomach against your mat feels so uh. nice. Oh, and we're swimming, swimming, swimming. <laughs> press your heart into the mat. Yeah. Uh. Might as well, right? <laughs> what else are you pressing into the mat right now? Nothing I can say on camera. <laughs> Now, as much as possible, you're <laughs> lifting the chest, you're lifting the thighs all the way through this swim. Woo! Keep it moving. Your you got just a fire. little bit longer. You got 15 seconds left. Can you squeeze the whole body a little bit higher off the floor, right? Your glutes, your Keep shoulders, your back. Moving as quickly as you can. You got five. You got four. In three. In two. Uh. And let's pop it straight back into a forearm plank right here, because I think this is what I had planned. In the sun, it's hard to read, but that's okay. No, it said cat cow, but we're okay. Oh, it said cat cow. That's cool. <laughs> well, we'll do that after. We're going to hit our planks right now. From this plank, really simple, we reach one hand forward, Whoa. bring it center, and reach it out. Now, I say it all the time. Simple and easy. Don't always go together. As much as possible, you're keeping your hips steady, and you're doing everything it takes to not shift them side to side. I'm going knees down. Always a choice but your belly is tight. That's not a choice. Ooh. You got about 15 seconds left here. Guess I could have said your stomach's not tight. <laughs> your stomach is, well, I was gonna say full, but it's not full. I was gonna say my stomach's full. I just ate. <laughs> your stomach is always full. He's always eating. Let's do four. We stay here on the forearms in three, two, and one, keeping that steady plank. All we're gonna do, bring the feet together and we drop the hips from side to side. Now, good news. In about 45, 50 seconds, we are all done with our planks. No. Oh, I know, it's so sad. Okay, fine, if you really want to, <laughs> we're gonna move from here into six minutes of max push-ups. How's that sound? <laughs> no. No, I'm kidding, keep it up. Dropping that side to side, you see that perfect position, keep it going. Always the option to take a break, to drop to the knees, but just know that you got about four Three, we will shift gently into our cat cow for just a moment. Stretch it all out. Last one, bring it in. Knees under hips, hands under shoulders. Just tucking the chin into the body and then opening up, looking overhead around or arch the back and switch. Now you see that we're going at different speeds. You're welcome to do this at your own pace, yes? And if you say, no, I'm gonna follow you, well, that's okay. Three, inhale up two, and one from here, we flip it over onto our backs. I love doing abs down here. I'm gonna turn my mat just a little bit so that you can see me. Because nice everybody clearly. wants to see real deep. Right? We are almost through with core though, so stick with me. This is gonna to get tough. That's okay. Right here, we're gonna bring the hands back behind the head. We're gonna start this off in a crunch. And from here, we'll build it into a sit up. And we're gonna stay in this position for a little while. So as you lift, pulsing your chin, that pushing, pushing, pull, <laughs> whatever. To the ceiling, to the sky. It is hot up here. Straight up. We're going straight up to the sky. You can say the ceiling, but a pet peeve of mine is referring to the ceiling when you're outdoors. There is no ceiling above us. <laughs> <laughs> That's a pet peeve uh, of yours, really. Nah, I made it up right now. <laughs> Lifting the chin up high, keeping the elbows just outside the line of sight of your peripheral vision as you lift. What a damn good feeling this is, <laughs> right? We got just a few more seconds here. In three, we're gonna go all the way into a sit up. In two, and one, taking those hands back behind you. 
We reach all the way up. Let's take those legs flat to the floor. And we reach all the way back, hands behind the head. Bring them up, and without momentum, just core strength, I want you to reach all the way forward and slowly release it down and release the hands back. Bring them up, bring them forward, reaching between the toes and all the way back down, hands back. Lift, squeeze. We'll be here tomorrow at 7 p.m. Yes. In case you're like, 4 p.m. Every doesn't work during the week. Every single day, ever. Yeah, we have a schedule for every day of the week. So check us out on Facebook or Instagram. Stay connected. <laughs> Might as well. We're kind of cool. We're Absolutely. Fine. We got eight seconds left. Let's make that into three more reps. <sighs> three. I love to just estimate. How many reps can we do in that amount of seconds? I am never right. Two more. And you're completely off program, so. Well, it's because we missed an exercise. Uh, it's we, all good. We is too many. We. Oh, and everybody bring it back. Heels come in. Now we're going to bend those feet again. Hands come on either side of the body. We lift into that high crunch, and we're just going to reach side to side. We call this a little penguin, because if you imagine yourself standing up, waddling around, I'll demonstrate while she continues. Aren't we so cute? Penguin? It looks like a little penguin, like this. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. And back. And keep it going. <laughs> boop, 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 boop. Boop, 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 boop. That's what the sound penguins make. You ever seen a penguin? Interesting fact. Did you know penguins make for life? I don't know. I think that's nuts, personally. But hey, penguins yeah. do it. Well, there we go. <laughs> Is a penguin a bird or a mammal? Answer that. Uh, I think it's a mammal. Mom, it's not a mammal. They lay eggs. <laughs> a penguin is a bird. I thought if you asked, it must be a trick question. I know, right? I'm actually not sure, but I think it's a bird. They're just like underwater birds. I don't think they have boobs for mammary glands. No. You're right. There's no, there's no suckling. All right. It's been almost one minute here. I don't have any idea what the heck was supposed to come next, so we're going to wing this. We got three. We got two. And we got one, and from here, you're gonna lift the legs straight out away from the body, reaching back one more time, just like our sit-ups, and then we bring the hands up to the toes. Holy crap, reach back. I'll show you a modification, and guys, because this one is pretty ridiculously difficult. So the modification is gonna be hands behind your back, little drop, head can stay down. All right, so this is your option. Absolutely. Because full teaser, holy Ooh. moly. It is not easy, but right now we're keeping those legs steady unless you want to make it harder, in which case you open and you close. We'll do 20 more seconds here, so if you need to take a second and you need to shake it out and breathe, that's always okay, right? But as soon as you're ready, as soon as your body is saying it's not about to die anymore, you can go ahead and continue. Let's do four. In three, we're going to roll our bodies up into a sit-up and catch ourselves at the top in two. In one, now keep those knees tucked in. We lay all the way back and come halfway up. Don't, Don't touch, the, touch floor. the floor with your feet. Roll up, balancing just at the top of that movement, releasing down, hug the knees in, use your momentum if needed, and popping it back up, keeping the core tight. You want to make it harder, you straighten those legs. You have flexibility, you straighten those legs. But you want to see me try to straighten those legs? Yes. Oh, no. <laughs> it's not going to happen. Oh, let's do five more. Five, four, three, finish it up. Two, let's do a little action back to what we just did, a little tougher. And last one, bring those feet straight out again. Beautiful where we're going, hands back. Now instead of both hands to both feet, we go opposite hand to opposite foot, reach for the top, and switch. Holy crap, if you need to modify, you can place the feet down as you switch. But if you want to make it harder, if you're like, I want to get that freaking six pack today, you keep those feet lifted, legs extended. I did legs promise extended. someone it only takes two workouts to get your abs. Who did you promise that? Someone asked me how many classes would it take, and I To be two. fair, I'm a skinny guy, <laughs> and my abs kind of just stay around. But uh, generally speaking, false. But if that's what gets you here, four more. False. Three more. Two more. And release it all down to the floor. Take those hands back for just a moment. We got one last little movement for you. We're gonna flip it over one last time. And before I pass you on for the stretch portion of your class, let's all bring it right back into this plank. Okay. Final movement, and I'm gonna call it about final 70 seconds until this plank is over and your six pack is created and we can move on to a stretch. So right here, we're gonna drop to the elbows, leading with the same hand back to the hands and then opposite elbow drops. Opposite hand lifts, and again, so I'm gonna drop my right, lift with my right, and I'm gonna drop my left, lift with my left. Option always the knees. And very important through this movement, 
I'm not dropping my hips with the elbows, right? I'm keeping the hips nice and steady and lift. Final rep, we drop onto our elbows in three, two, and one. You've got 30 seconds in this plank and core is over. No, it's not. I actually reeled these wrong. Well, it rarely happens. But he skipped, I don't know, like four exercises, so I'm gonna take those over. Oh, yes. Because if not, we'll end too soon. Funny enough, I remember them now. She's gonna take them over. <laughs> They're all gonna be in the seated position. So you have 20 more seconds in your plank, then you're gonna join me here. We'll finish up the core work, and then I'll take you through some stretch. Let's go 10. Okay. Nine. Okay. Eight. I taught you well. Seven, Christina, can five, you finish you know the backwards count? count? Four. <laughs> three. She skipped six and five. Two. And one. Join me here, my friends. Have a seat. Bring your legs up off Boom. the floor. Love it. All righty. We're going to go extend out, extend in. Now, if that's too difficult for you, you have some options, right? You can come down onto your elbows. You can make the movement smaller. You're still going to feel it. How can you make this more intense? Lift your arms off the floor. Extend. Now, how can you make this even harder? Boom. All the way down, right? Take your time. We have 40 more seconds here. Pet peeve of mine. How do you extend in? Right? Extend and then pull it in, but extend it into your body like the hell you're talking I about. I didn't say extend in. You did. Extend out, <laughs> extend in. It's like saying stand up, stand down. Doesn't make any sense. Stand down. <laughs> Boom. Boom. You have 20 more seconds with Mr. Boom. Now Boom. everything is going to be a pet peeve of his. <laughs> yeah, this nonsense continues way beyond the, the filming of this video. Tonight this at is the dinner life. table. Right. This is going to be the, my pet peeve is the fork. <laughs> Pet peeves is undercooked meat, Grandma. Come on. And one. Hang on tight. Oh. All right. I hope you guys are laughing. I know that we are silly, but it's what gets us through these workouts. Go ahead and come into a reverse table. I'm going to show you first the easy way to do this, right? Take one arm up. Another modification you can do if you want to just kind of play. The full expression of this exercise today is to go ahead. Once you master the movement, here's what I want you to do. Can you put your hand and your foot down? at the exact same time, think about it. Right, so it just takes a little bit of thinking. It's not like rocket science, thankfully. But you do have to really purposefully place the hand and foot if you want to get the same time. So I have good news. Only one exercise left. There it is. It's coming. <laughs> Pet peeve of mine is people who can't keep track of their workouts. <laughs> <laughs> Five, four, Three, I can't believe I'm breathing heavy with an ab workout. I know, right? Oof. It's the heat out here. I swear. All right, so I'm gonna show you the hard way and then the easy way. Rildy's gonna hold the hard way the whole minute. Hands can be in any position, forward, side, or back. Lift your hips, look up. Squeeze your butt real tight. Now, this is incredibly challenging. If you're like, I can't, bend your legs, hold your table. If you're like, dude, I do Pilates on a daily, give me more, alternate your legs up. We have about 30 more seconds. Then, hallelujah. Always start some core, not some core, some stretch. <laughs> Chuckles the clown, I've had enough out of you. <laughs> Hold it up. <laughs> 20 seconds. Remember your modifications. If you're in the table, really exaggerate hips up, head back, open up through your chest. So let's go for five, four, three, two, walk your hands forward. Woo. All right, so now I just want you to sit here. Least ladylike position I think I could have come up with. Um, but that's okay, because who's here to be a lady? How about you, Rildy? No, not me. All righty, hands, press your hands together, because by pressing your hands, you can force the knees apart, all right? So if you want to bring them lower, go ahead and bring it lower, and then try to get your spine whew, a little bit taller. All right, from here, you're gonna take your right hand, bring it to the floor. Take your left hand and look up. Now maybe this is way more than what you can do today. Cool, maybe just look over your shoulder. If you're thinking, I can do better, go ahead and wrap the right arm around the leg, bind the arms, and again, look over your shoulder. But there's no need to go where you're not comfortable. This portion now is about bringing everything down and focusing on mobility, flexibility, and how to mute children in other pools. <laughs> Three, two, go ahead and take the left hand to the floor. Take the right arm up. And again, I want you to look over your shoulder because we want mobility in your neck as well, right? That also helps to give you a little bit more stretch through the upper body. For sure, the right shoulder. Now again, if you want to go a little deeper, 
bind, wrap, keep the heels down, and look over your shoulder. Take a few deep breaths. Everything should be coming down now. Three, two, and one. Go ahead and come down. I want you to take your right leg across the front of the mat or whatever space you're in, and the left leg kind of to the side. So I've got parallel lines in my shin and my thigh, and then my other shin and thigh are also parallel, right? So a lot of right angles going on. Go ahead and reach forward. Some of us that do like a lot of cycling or a lot of running are very tight in our hips. So this may be enough for you. I'm gonna make this a little bit of a deeper stretch, but if you're having a hard time getting your elbows down, there's no need to go further. Are these your parallel lines? These are my parallel lines. This one and this one. Oh, yeah, so we no, I, Kids, I have a motto, don't have them. All right, now, take your back leg. That's a joke, just kidding. <laughs> Take your back leg, and if you can, straighten it out so that you come into what they call a pigeon in yoga. I guess in regular speak, it would just be like a great hip opener. You want to try to have your back leg straight, and ideally your hips are both down. Rildi and I both have super tight hips, um, just from all the cycling and working out. So from here, if you're good, come down. Looks just like all the pigeons you've probably seen ever in real life. That looks just like a pigeon. Yeah. I mean, I see it. Two. Apparently they're playing the game on who can hit each other the hardest <laughs> over there. For four, three, two. Go ahead and release to the side. It can be a nice, easy, gentle stretch or release. All right, let's do the same thing on the other side. Shin across the front, opposite shin runs along the side. So what Rildi was trying to say is this is perpendicular, not parallel. Thank you. Come on down. Uh, see if you can get both elbows down, right? For sure one side, no problem, but the other side may give you a little difficulty. Am I running blue down my face yet? No, no you're good. All right. I'm running sweat down every part of my body. Yeah, yeah it's, it's hot out here. It's the sun. I am tanner than I've ever been. Really? Not ever. I'm but. trying not to get tan. Now you take the leg that's behind you, if you want, extend it straight back. You can come up, right? And then you decide if you can go forward. We'll be here for another 30 seconds. Relaxing sounds of the breeze, the pool splashing. <laughs> I have a super awesome stretch next. It's gonna be for your spine and also for your shoulder. Um, we did a lot of planks. So in case you're wondering like, why are they doing these stretches? We did abs today. When you work your core, it's this box, right? From your shoulders to your hips and everything in between. It's not just the six pack. I'm sure you're aware, but I like to share. I'm a sharer. For four, three, two. Go ahead and come out of this stretch. You're gonna lay on your back. Let's see if we don't hit each other on this one. I'm gonna extend my right arm out. Which is like, oh, you know what? We gotta do this one face down. So actually, let's do it here. All right, <laughs> take your legs up and take them away from the arm that you have just extended. So, legs that way. And then look at the hand that you have extended. So if it's your right arm out, your legs are over to the left. Try to stretch here. If you want, take the hand that's free and pull down gently on your legs. <sighs> I know what they're thinking. Why is their butt facing the camera? I don't know, this wasn't well thought out. <laughs> Other side. <laughs> we will try to work on angles next time. Knees the opposite direction, opposite arm out, shoulders down, and then look towards the hand. It's almost like white noise. <laughs> Cascading waterfalls. Three, two, go ahead and come to center. And now I wanna stretch the hip flexors, all right? So you're gonna lift up. We did hip flexors when we did those teasers and with the knees in and out that we did. So I want you to really squeeze and hold. If you have the space underneath, you can bring your hands in to really lift and to turn off the glutes. However, firing up your glutes allows you to lengthen a little bit more through the front. So, it's your choice. What I want is just a nice stretch to the front of your body. Your heels are pressed down. Your toes are pressed down. Oh, perfect. I wish I could tag them and let them know that they were here. 
three, two, and one. Slowly come down, hug your knees into your chest, and come up to seated. All right, let's do a couple of upper body stretches, and we are on our way for the day. Take your right hand behind your back. Press the arm against your spine. Take the opposite hand onto your thigh. Look over your shoulder. So don't just stop when you look over your shoulder. Like really try to pull and look to the opposite corner if you have a mat of your mat. If you don't have a mat, look to the opposite corner of the room you're in. Three, two, and one. Go ahead and switch sides. Right hand on your thigh. Bring the arm against your back. So really like straighten your body up. Take a deep inhale. Exhale and look. I'm going to take us into a downwards facing dog in about 10 seconds. Cool. Come back to center. Hands on the mat. Booty in the air. Like you just don't care. Woo! <laughs> All right, my friends, take your right leg up. Actually, I'm going to coach this one because I don't know if you can hear me facing down. So right, oh, that is ugly. <laughs> All right, I'm going to do it. Right leg up. <laughs> then you're going to bend the knee and twist the hips. I right? guess I, I need it, so I should probably yeah. do it. Really so the benefits here, <laughs> I'll turn. The benefits, you're stretching through the front of your body. Now this shoulder, the right side, if it's the right leg up, probably popped up. I want you to kind of not force it, but... Try to keep the shoulders aligned with each other as you lift your knee higher and open the leg further, all right? This is brutal. No, this is relaxing. It's this harder than the work. Oh, this is a nice relaxing moment in our lives. Take some deep breaths. Now, let's just have fun with it because we're here. It's called flip the dog. Take your right foot, drop it behind you, see it really goes in the pool. Drop the hips and then reach the arm Uh, so you should feel this through the side of your body, through your shoulder and your chest. In three, in two, bring it down. Now I know that's a hard one. Let's do this on the other side and we're done, my friends. So down dog, left leg in the air, bend the leg, take the knee as high as you can to the sky, and then make sure that your left shoulder, um, make sure that your left <laughs> shoulder doesn't pop up. <sighs> Pressing your chest back towards your thigh. In three, two, now let's flip that dog. Let the foot come down, almost like you're sitting, and then pop it up to look back. Sweat rolling into my eyeball. I got like sweat up my nose. It's <laughs> like, you know when you flip upside down in the pool? It's not fun. <laughs> in four, three, two, and down. My friends, that concludes, but... Ooh. So a few of you yesterday did post your sweaty selfies. And I think it's like a really good time. And it also helps us kind of get the word about our workouts out. So if you're posting on your page and you're saying, worked out with Rildy and Christina and you tag us, then other folks might want to join in. And we can just make like this awesome community of all of us coming together and working out, right? Absolutely. Anything you want to say? Well, just as well, we did get a few donations. <laughs> um, no, I'll post everything up. Thank you guys for being here, like she said. Um, you know, post something, share about it. More important is just the fact that we get the word out there because we have a fun time doing it. Um, so thank you guys for being here again. Tomorrow um, night, 7 p.m. Exactly, body 7 p.m. Eastern on Monday. We'll be doing 6 or 7 o'clock every day of the week, 4 p.m. on the weekend. Twice as hard as yesterday. We got this. Boom. Thing. Let's Bye. see you later, my friends. Take it easy. And now you have to go turn it off. I got you. Awkwardly, he has to be the production guy today. <laughs> <laughs> Clearly, I've never taken closing classes. <laughs>